I agree with the with David. It's so important to appreciate our history, our culture, our people. And you know, when I reflect on our people, you know, you think that you have obviously African Americans, you have Black British, you have African, African Caribbean. Uh, or or Afro-Caribbean, you know, people, we are just from so many diverse parts of the world, you know, but yet we are one people and it's incredible because our culture is so full and so rich that, you know, clearly we do need more than a month to explore and to understand and to study our culture because, you know, when you do a search or even at school, when when they teach you about black history, they focus so much on American, African American history. And there's so much need to be taught about Black British history. There's so much need to be taught about Caribbean history. And certainly there's so much need to be taught about African history. And I think it's good time for us to actually come together because we are one people and, you know, enjoy, all, all, you know, the food that we have because it's so similar. You know, I made <laughs> my husband, obviously, is Ghanaian. And, you know, when I when you see some of the food that we cook in the Caribbean, clearly he claimed it as his and I'm like no it's not but obviously you know, I'm like his because he's from Ghana first <laughs> so you, you see what I mean so we're just like one people and we, as I said the culture is rich and there's so much we can do together as, as a people and let's celebrate one another yeah. and Keisha Kima sorry yeah I concur and you know um, I think a lot of time we um, we see uh, a black history more of a negative is always slavery and you know racial discrimination and that that sort of stuff and yes there's a time and place we need to talk about those uh, because it's part of our story but as Keisha said our story is quite rich there's so many areas of of it that we could talk about and capture we've got fantastic architects we have people fantastic engineers we've got people who's discovered things you know we've got people who built things and it, it, these are the kind of things those stories that we should be celebrating when it comes to to black history and we're so similar in so many different ways and we should be talking about that you know as a celebration rather than you know this make a pity party if the october or no it's like slavery discussions and that sort of stuff it's nothing wrong with delving into our history our past but also in terms of celebrating where we've come from as a people i think is fantastic opportunity to do that and that's what we should be doing um every october David, sorry. As I say, one last thing. I think we just need to uh, celebrate the journey that we're all on. I'm sure, like Mary, um, she uh, did see the whole picture, and she decided <laughs> to embark on the journey herself. I didn't really think that she was transcending, transcending. She just went about her job. Yeah. And we're talking yeah. about it here. Yeah. Um, and it's a beautiful thing that you know you you can you create your own history um, and, and just try and go about your life in a Decent way and a great way, and just live it. And she lived her dream. Of, did what she wanted to do, and we're celebrating it today. Today, and I'm just looking down. Well, I didn't do anything that extremely, you know, crazy at the time, but we're looking at it and saying, "Wow, black woman has to live the UK in the way that she did, as well as other parts, and, and, and put her life on the line." Yeah, yeah. In many ways, in many ways, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful story. Thank you.